Hey people, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. Last time we got to enjoy the love story of the girl across the balcony and little Colin, who's having quite the fun just thinking about it. He's going to be walking to school with her next. That's going to be enjoyable. Uh, romance, what a lovely thing. But first, let's go to the future. We'll break open this clock, now set at a different time, and see where it takes us. What kind of memory awaits? I hope no more Fred. At the same time, I hope a lot more Fred. Prepare this memento. Break the code. What is this? This is new. Some blanks help to remember, some help to forget. What? What? Huh? So you can only summon things this way. Oh, okay. Huh. Create pieces and erase pieces. Interesting. Puzzles are getting more dynamic and involved. Click the fancy symbol. Activate this memento. Alright, where are we gonna go now? Shine bright. Oh. Oh? Uh, where are we? What is going on? Is this like a stage or a ship where I genuinely don't know where we are? What? People are looking for you, you know. What the heck? Nervous for your last performance here? Okay, so it's a stage. It's Sophia, his current wife. They're a bit younger. They both look adorable. I'm not nervous. She's got like a white in her hair. He's got some white in his. It's just I've played in this theater for so many years. It feels strange to just have this be the last. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, you know, Colin's right. Well, you never know. You might play again. But other times, you'll do something, you'll say something, and you won't even know it at the time. But you'll look back and realize, that's the last time I played with that toy. That's the last time I did that. We can always visit. This place isn't going anywhere. I saw what you were going to play, by the way. Uh, my most virtuistic piece, huh? So interesting how his wife is so into music, but he was still against playing the cello as a kid. But he still got into playing performances with her and the person who's face. That was adorable. Well, I kind of liked that one, but I thought you didn't. I guess it's grown on me. <laughs> I knew it. Just a little. <sighs> There's some cute banter between this married couple. It's lovely back and forth flirting. Now we got to see his last flight. We're getting to see her last performance. I'm getting more of Sophia, and I like that. She seems like an interesting character. Or at least a, she's an enjoyable character. Hey, we've still got some time before the concert starts, right? How about one last dance or something? <laughs> oh, one last performance. Go get your cello and come play with me for a bit. That'll help calm my nerves. Looks like she values active service. I thought you weren't nervous. Wait, does he just have his cello around here at the stage? It must be like a thing they did often. He doesn't have much reason to play it otherwise. There are five pieces, and we got two directions to go. Follow them and go here. I'm gonna go here first. I mean, we're all gonna go here first. Oh, this takes us to the stage, unexpected. There's a kid over there having fun, dangling his legs. That's always a fun thing to do. All right, piano. Show me some piano. This was a big part of To the Moon, was a piano. Seems like cello is more important. Okay, that's very blurry sheet music. Alright. Okay, uh, so many ways to go. Let's go over here then. It's over here. Okay. Check this out. Hey, have you guys seen Sophia? Check the practice halls. I saw her going there. Thanks, will do. Y'all should visit, by the way. We're gonna miss having her play here. I we will. That's nice of them. And they never did. You don't know that. Realistically, some people will say the same touch, like at the end of, uh, you know, a period of school, and then they don't. 
sad, but it happens so often. That's why it's so important and valuable to cherish the time you do have with people. And then you're lucky enough to have some people who don't leave. The people you get to stay with for your life. Those are wonderful. What are they talking about? What are you doing slacking off up there, Ash? Hey, it's a little Ash. Oh, come on. I've already set up a whole row of chairs. I even named it Ash's Row. Everyone who sits will pay a toll. Oh, I'll let that take care of your allowances then. <laughs> Not cool, Dash. Oh, hey, where's Mom? Not sure. I'm going to go look for her. That's why you need to get your butt down here and help. Yeah, where did she go? Well, all right. It seems like we're mostly getting them in a row. That's nice. Nothing over here. All right, I'm hovering over. I see nothing. I'm just gonna check on Asher real quick. The lad grows young so fast. <laughs> the way we're skipping around in memories. That's true. Oh, that is spooky. Are we sure we're not playing the horror spinoff right here, right now? What the? It's flickering into another memory. Uh, we still have two pieces in places we haven't explored, and the music is now terrifying me. Uh. Oh? How do we have all five pieces, but we're missing one? Huh? Uh, or not. We gotta find her. Where is she? Any idea what that was about? How should I know? Well, you are the technician. He doesn't do much other than move things around. And to be fair, this isn't the only weird thing that's happened this trip. Are you sure you didn't forget a wire or miss a calibration? How dare you! My calibrations are as spotless as Bambi's butt after he lost his spots. Bambi lost his... You're talking about the deer? W what a weird comparison. O okay, I'm just saying you should keep an eye open. Alright, I... I'm spooked. We have five things, but we don't have five things. Where is she? Let's go find her. She's got to be somewhere over here, right? We haven't checked this place out. When, maybe this place required, like, so many so to move forward. And we uh, didn't even realize because we just immediately ignored it. Oh, there she is. Are we going to get auto-drafted into that? Because I want to look at this over here. What's over here? Who's got the best... Uh, is this Fred? Who's got the best nose? You do! Oh, yes, you certainly do! What is that thing? What are you looking at? What the heck is your schnoz? The only thing he remembers about this individual is their nose narcissism. <laughs> Alright, that's cute. They're having a performance. Oh, hey, the cello must be the way out again. So, what did you want to play? It doesn't matter much, really. Just anything, as long as we're playing together. Why don't you just play your skills and I'll do that accompaniment for it? Heh. <laughs> Are we trying to calm you down or me? I happen to find the simple things mindless and relaxing. Fair enough. <laughs> this is very mindless and relaxing. Man, she's doing all the work while he's just playing the scale. She's the one doing a creative accompaniment. I mean, it's her last performance. She's warming up. Didn't you used to play the triangle in band? Just the triangle? Yes, and the triangle is one of the most nuanced and misunderstood instruments there is. Don't make me go on a rant about it. You don't understand. Three sides, so many angles. Are you understand yet? I can explain it even more. They sure try hard to play some fancy scale. It's very pleasant music. Right, what's the note? Thing Sophia played that a company called Scale. Are we gonna hear it again? Hmm. We'll find out in the next episode of Finding Paradise. Now I know these are bite sized, but we're making good progress so far. I'll see you in the next episode, and if you like this one, leave a like, and subscribe to become a main character. Bye for now!